Hello and welcome to my um, game development blog. This is kind of a new thing I'm setting up, but this is to showcase some of the games that I'm working on. This is Level Up, the final executable version. Um, the game is not finished. It's got a couple levels and a lot of bugs. The problem is that this existed um, as an executable and the editable file, which is the GMK file that I can edit. I lost the GMK file, and I can no longer edit the game. But from the last development blog that I made, I did have far less progress than I have now. So I'm going to show you what I have done, but I can never finish the game, really, without starting over from scratch. So I'm going to play through the game now and show you what I got. There's a lot of bugs, and I'll explain more at the end of the video for more of the boring technical stuff. You got a sword. Hey, how did you get out of your house? I put that debris there to keep you locked up. I said debris instead of debris. <laughs> I'm the one who typed it. Wait a minute, you're not him. Oops. Oh well, you're about to ha lose your house, kid. Well, I have a hard time reading today. I just got done being sick, though. Bam. House is gone. Or, uh, can't get up there. I wish I could jump higher. The best part is there's no way you can even get to me. You can't jump high enough. Good fight, kid. No revenge for you. You couldn't hurt me anyway, even if you found the ability crystal hidden behind the tree. Wait, I shouldn't have said that. Bam. There's something behind the tree after all. Wah! He's running away. Chase him down. Jump. Run. Jump. Run. Jump. Jump. Ah. Ha, ah, you fell for my trap. Troll our fire. And then, this is kind of like, you have to dodge the fireballs while trying to make your way over to them. It's not too bad. Especially because if you get hit, it bounces you upwards. Oh crap, you're getting too close. The plan usually works. I'm not luring you. Don't follow me. You're good. But now you get to fight me for real. No more games. Prepare to die, noob. This world's kind of based on a virtual wor world. So, it's kind of like... The world's kind of like a video game, but... It's like real world combined. I might actually lose. It's not even really that hard, but... I'm trying to rush things too much. So all you do for Trollar is he jumps around and shoots fireballs at you, and you just gotta jump over the fireballs and hit him. Ah, I jumped into that. Okay. As long as I hit him eight more times before I get hit, like, a couple more times, I should be good. Two. Six. Almost got him. Ow. Four. Three. Wait, we almost got him. One more. One more hit. One more hit. That's all we need. Dead. Press 1 to select a fireball spell. Then right click to shoot. Bam. And here's our next character. I've arrived far too late. It seems they have already attacked you. It seems that you have killed Trollar. I am Mod Crimson. I'm very sorry for what happened. They were looking for me. They have been going around destroying cities trying to find me. They seen your square shadow go into that house. They thought that shadow was mine because I was spotted in the area. So they sent in a salmon bomber to blow up the house. I tried to stop them. I really did. Although things aren't looking good for you now that you killed Trollar, they may come after you and label you an enemy. Let's get you to some place safe so that we can talk more. Oh no, get ready to fight, kid. Spam headed our way. He says, oh, you wiped the floor with them. You have the rare power to gain power from defeated enemies, unlike the rest of us who have to diet and exercise, FML. Only one person in history has had that power, and he is dead. Rest in peace, Mod Exxon. Press Control to access your upgrade screen. I'm going to go ahead. There's a city nearby. Meet me there. Um, I'll show the level up screen after I beat the game, because 
right now. There's a bit of a glitch with it. Actually, permanently, but I'll go on about that at the end of the video. Okay, so you kill stuff, and you get experience. And they drop little XP orbs. Those are Metal Salmon. Metal Salmon can only be killed with magic. And those are regular ones that can die from anything. And I made different kinds of Salmon. There's a lot of them. The plot of this game is Salmon are taking over the world. And the Salmon are a type of... Well, they're, ca they're calling it Spam because it kind of fills the world up with magic monster things. And pretty much they just... There are so many of them that they overrule or overrun every single thing. So you just gotta... I'm trying not to die. Because you can't heal yet. I didn't actually implement healing yet, which I was planning on doing. Either slowly over time or health drops, which I was leaning on health drops. Not very common health drops, though. I'm going to play through the entire game that I've got done. Here we go. Here's this little guy. The town! The town has been overrun by Salvin. They said the city was safe. They said that we had nothing to worry about. Now they're all dead. Red Salmon are the most dangerous because they do the most damage and they fly towards you. Jetpack Salmon are my favorite because they jump really, really high and they fly towards you. Sometimes. But not always. They're more random than the red ones. The red ones are really, really aggressive and they chase after you. Hmm. Something seems awfully fishy around here. Oh wait, that's me. Well, I could have sworn I dispatched more salmon than my radar is showing. I'd better check it out. I would try to level up my stuff, but I'm really afraid of the game glitching up. Because I never really... This version had a lot of glitches in it. I'll do some good explaining at the end. Oh, there he is. Hey you there, I can't help but notice you're killing my soldiers. I would advise you to stop being a wannabe mod and go home. Oh wait, records show that we blew that up. Alright, down to business. Where is Mod Crimson? We still cannot find that man and we destroyed all of these houses looking for him after we had one of our spies listen in on your little conversation. Alright, I am Captain Salmon, leader of the Salmon Army. I have conquered these lands using my army of Salmon. You are the one who killed Trollark, correct? Well, I didn't care about him. His job was to find Mod Crimson and kill him. He failed, so I'm just going to kill him anyway. Thanks for helping me. Anyways, I suppose you're going to swing that piece of iron at me or shoot me with fireballs or some other spell. I guess you could. I mean, this tank is near indestructible, so do as you wish. Yeah. Nothing. So I just got to keep going forward. He pretty much just is like, okay, screw you, I'm leaving. Seems like I can continue now. Wow, you are really stupid. You thought I was going to let you go? You're an enemy and you were helping the mods, so you must die. Take this healing orb. You'll need it. Mod Crimson, where are you? Zero, 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 zero. Shoot the bomb back. Jump over the stick. Ah! This is the last level that I have. Just gotta beat this guy. Pretty much you just gotta hit his bombs back at him. It's not too bad. The big red bomb shoot these giant flaming things. I have really fond memories of this game, and I just can't ever work on it. Ah. Oh no. Ow. That doesn't do as much damage as I remember. I thought I programmed it to do more. Oh no. Bruh. Ow. That hit him, so it's okay. Sorry. Okay, so. To 
can hit him. Not quite. You can do one damage with your sword? I could have sworn I said that you couldn't do that. Okay. I might actually lose if I'm not careful. There's a good chance I'm not going to survive. Which is good, because that means I made a tough boss fight. Or I'm just stupid. Ah, uh, that was totally going to be a death glitch. Glitch death. Ah, oh, I died. Had to start over now. I'll do it this time for sure. Not for sure, but for hopes. The thing I like about this game is I drew everything. So, I mean, I drew it in, like, their little basic drawing thing, so it's not really that impressive or anything. But I'm only 19. <laughs> I was, like, 18 when I made this, though. So. Okay, so the fire doesn't damage it. Oh, crap. The bombs are the only thing besides your sword. Your sword does very little damage, though. I almost got this. I could make it not drag out as long in the future. Ow. Oh. I'm getting wrecked by my own creation. How could you betray me, my own creation? I just want to show off. Actually, I might make this available for download if you want, but... Leave a comment if you're interested in getting your hands on this. I don't really see a reason why I wouldn't. It's not done or anything, and it's really glitchy. Two more hits, and he's out. There we go. Wow, that tank blows. They said it would be indestructible. Never thought that using high-powered bombs capable of damaging the tank would backfire. Anyways, kid, you're still dead. You can't beat me. Ah, he said I'll kill you later. And that's the end of the game. Okay, so about explaining the kind of dumb stuff. Because I'm going to cut the others. I talked about it in the beginning, but I'm going to cut that out. And you won't know that anyway, so I don't know why I told you. There's two types of files. There's editable files and playable files. And this is the playable one. And this one was made for testing purposes for my friend to test it and tell me what he thinks I should, like, fix. Like, little stuff. Well... Since I made this executable file, I added a whole bunch of little things. Like, I didn't really add anything, but I did lots of bug fixes. So, I spent two or three days bug fixing. Making it all run smoothly. I made the menus work better. And speaking of the menu, here it is. It worked perfectly fine. You level up your attack, level up your magic, and you can buy more spells. So... I can't I can't afford that. So level up my attack. Can't afford that. So level up my magic. Okay. Then Okay, so now it does more damage. You wouldn't know that because there's nothing for me to fight. I sometimes there's a glitch where you can't close the menu, which is why I didn't do it while you're playing. I fixed it though. Problem is, I took a break at I took a couple weeks off working on the game. Okay. I lied. I took a couple months off working on the game. But I came back to work on it a couple, mm, like a month or two ago, and I couldn't. Because somehow when I was reorganizing my computer, I deleted the editable files and kept the executable. So I lost the file that I worked on. But this is the newest version that I had in executable form that you could actually play. So I can never actually add to the game or fix what's wrong with it. So this glitchy version that's right here goes the 
the final version that I had, it wasn't final, but the final version that I was working on had a lot of bug fixes, so everything worked smoother, looked nicer, animation was better. Not much better. Just a couple days of bug fixing. So this is the best one I have. Um, so I can never work on the game again. I don't have the files to work on it. I can't finish the game. I can't add to the game. I can't do anything. But what I will do is I may start over from scratch and follow the exact same path I did, but do it better. Because I've been doing a lot of other work recently and I'm learning how to do stuff better. So I may just make a better looking, better version of this game. So that was my end of the video jumble and I'll be releasing more of these soon. And I'm actually currently working on another game and I wanted to make a video about this before I talked about that. So thanks for watching. Um, hope you like it. Leave a comment, like it, whatever. Um, so I'm just going to end the video now. So see you next time.